Hey what's up guys and here is my take on the OnePlus 3 or what you guys like to call it living with the OnePlus 3. First of all, this is the fastest fingerprint scanner I've ever used on a smartphone. It is faster than the Galaxy S6 and the S7. One thing I noticed is that the fingerprint scanner is placed in the middle of the button. So sometimes it's a hit or miss. It only happened 4 times during my 2 months of usage. So it's not an issue at all and you will love it. So coming with a price tag of around 28,000 rupees in India, it's got a top of the line chipset, the Snapdragon 820. That might give you a hint of what it can do. The phone does heat up a little bit while playing heavy games like Real Racing 3, which stays cool as a room temperature while normal gaming and usage. Still, in the real life usage, it is blazing fast and apps open and close quickly. There are really no stuttering or any lag, but there are some small bugs here and there in the Oxygen OS. But that's not an issue because OnePlus is rolling out updates faster than ever. It's been only 2 months and I've already got like 3 updates for bug fixes. I would like OnePlus to do this with their older devices too because they try to neglect their older devices and only focus on their current flagship. And talking about the Oxygen OS, it's pretty great. Stock Android plus very good optimizations is equal to Nexus like fluid user experience. Now let's talk about the 6GB of RAM it has. Multitasking is like you would expect, it's blazing fast and it can hold almost 10 to 15 apps in memory and about 2 to 3 heavy games like Real Racing 3 and Asphalt 8 in memory too. Now about the RAM allotment, many might not know this but according to OnePlus, out of the 6GB of RAM available, only 4GB of RAM is allotted for multitasking and the apps to use. The other 2GB of RAM is allotted for the camera to use which I will talk about in a minute. But you can root it and use all the 6GB of RAM for multitasking which affects the battery life a little bit. But if you want it, it's there, you can get it. So it has a high end chipset which might require a bit higher battery. But that's not the case. Because the OnePlus 3 has got a 3000mAh battery which is actually a bit less compared to the previous two phones OnePlus made the OnePlus 1 and the OnePlus 2. Battery life here is pretty great. I got around 3 hours of screen on time with medium use. So this battery life is pretty good enough for me because I game a lot like at least 6 to 10 races of Real Racing 3 every day plus casual games throughout the day. So even after heavy usage it left me with around 30% by the end of the day. Pretty sweet. Plus, the battery drops in a heartbeat while gaming. But here's where this thing comes into action. Yeah, you guessed it right, it's the dash charging. This feature will make you forget that you need to charge your device because you will be leaving home soon. I just love this feature and let me tell you a quick story. I was surfing through my newsfeed when my eyes went on the top left corner of the phone. I was late for my college plus my battery was at around 20%. At that moment I knew I was f***ed up. So I thought, let's check out what the dash charger can do. I plugged it in, took a shower, got dressed up, plugged out my phone and it was at around 80%. Yeah, yeah like 80% in just 20 minutes. And I said in my mind, well done OnePlus, well done. Quick charge is a feature you think you can live without but once you start using it, it totally changes the charging routine of your devices and you will never want to go back to a non-quick charge device, not even in your dreams. Now talking about that 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED display, it is one of my favorite things about the OnePlus 3 after the dash charge feature, but the phone does not necessarily feel that big thanks to those thin bezels. The blacks on this panel are like pitch black because the black areas of the display is technically switched off. I mean it's that dark that if you are in a car wearing black pants and you wave your hand over the display, then the time will show up like this. Like there's a clock in your pants. And the display gets bright enough for you to use in bright outdoors plus it can get also very low. So that combined with the night mode is pretty good for you to consume media in your bed at night under your blanket. So let's talk about the music department. 
Headphone quality is awesome on this one. The bass and the clarity is great. Audiophiles will like this, but forget about the speakers. It's just for the ringtone and the alerts. I mean, it is really loud, which makes it a bit muffled at high levels. So it's not clear enough that you would prefer to listen music on it for a long time. And one thing I would like OnePlus to do would be adding an equalizer in the stock music app. Yeah, you can install third party apps like Music Match or Power Amp, but I really like the take on minimalism which OnePlus took with the stock app. So I'm still gonna stick to it and let's see if they can update it. The first thing that impressed me when I took it out of the box was how slim it is. Plus the curve back just makes it a bit more comfortable. The buttons here are clicky and I really like the single button design that looks more classy. And I'm really thankful to OnePlus for putting up two small dots as their capacitive buttons and not big buttons like Samsung which blinds you by lighting up when you are trying to read something under your blanket. It is fairly lightweight too but ultimately the weight will be increased because you have to add a case as this phone is slippery AF. By the way, if you don't have a case right now for your OnePlus 3, you can take a look at the sandstone case which is available for $2 and I also made a video on that. So card is up here, go watch it. Talking about the camera, I know the bump is pretty serious here but the 16 megapixel sensor takes some of the best images. The depth of field, the colors, the dynamic range and the sharpness of the image is right on point. Especially the bokeh it produces is pretty serious I think. The video quality is also great in 1080p as soon but as soon as you switch to 4k it is below average. Now the 2gb ram out of the 6gb is allotted for the camera and this helps in the processing of the image and this is why HDR shots take almost no time to process. Nice trick OnePlus. But before ending you might want to know the competition going on in this price segment which is from 20k to 30k in the Indian market. There are 3 latest contenders which almost have the same specs as the OnePlus 3 and those are the Lumax 2, Mi5 and the newly launched ZUK Z2 Plus which we should not consider as of now because it's new and there are not enough reviews out and Leico has a pretty terrible customer support. So that leaves us with the OnePlus 3 and the Xiaomi Mi 5. So let's get this straight. If you are on a budget, go with the Mi 5. But if you want the extra gigabyte of RAM, extra storage, bigger display and stock Android, go with the OnePlus 3. Cause as of now, OnePlus 3 is the best thing you can buy right now as it is one of the best devices out there and it is getting stronger with every software update. And I really want to see what happens when the Nougat hits the OnePlus 3. So subscribe, like and comment to see more awesome content like this. Till then, take care and I'll see you guys in my next video.